Welcome back. Today we're going to be working back and a little bit of shoulders. It's 11 o'clock and it is just a beautiful day to just like embody our best version of ourselves. I know it's the weekend and there's that whole like stereotype that Sundays are a lazy day, but you know what? Sunday is like the first day of the week. It's not Monday. Sunday is the first day of the week. It is the best day. Like most people don't work. So you just get to start your week off, right? Set the tone for the rest of the week. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to go in there and we're going to crush this workout. I feel really good. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's nice and empty right now. Heading over to get our trusty broomstick. The key to having a really good workout is to actually have a proper warm up first. I pretty much do the same thing every time I warm up. It's what works for me and really increases my range of motion during my sets. Sometimes I roll out too, and I feel like that helps to loosen things up. If you don't have a broomstick, you can definitely use a band, and it basically does the exact same thing. I'm pumped up for today's workout. I'm feeling really good. I'm having a family party today, so there's gonna be a lot of good food there. So I'm just like excited to put the work in here and then go and reward myself later when I get home. I'm gonna get lots of sun, lots of food, and and first things first, you gotta get your workout in. For me personally, if I don't get my workout done like first thing, it's just not as good later on in the day. I still get it done later on in the day, but it's just not as good. So get the fuck up and get your workout done. Oh, let's. I'm not at a point yet where I can comfortably perform pull-ups but I can still do them uncomfortably. The band that I want is nowhere to be found. So I'm just gonna do this as like a warm up, and I'm just gonna do as many as I can, can do for like three sets. And I'm assuming it's gonna be around like three. No, I do not like doing pull-ups. I find them extremely challenging, but I really want to gain that strength in my upper body. And this is the best way to do that. One, two. Already, I did one more than I thought that I could. We're just gonna try and keep that. I would love to do the wide grip, but like, man, it's hard. I wanna perfect this one and then maybe, you know, adapt and move my arms out. One, two, three. Oh, fuck. About like two and a half months ago, I could barely even do one of those. Proud of myself. <sighs> Four ish. What the fuck is that? Is that a rock? Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. I tell you guys a secret. Yes, I am a confident ass bitch. All right, there's no, there's no denying it. I am a confident ass bitch, but I still get insecure. There's still days where I'm like not feeling myself. Or I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, what's going on today? Most of the time, it's just hormones. You know, time of the month, you just like start thinking that you're freaking. Tyrannosaurus Rex or something, and in reality, not, not much has changed at all. But one thing that I do that always leaves me feeling like the hottest bitch in the world is just, you know, tuning into my body and working my muscles, getting a nice juicy pump, and then taking a nice shower and just realizing like, fuck, I am that bitch. I did it. I went in. I feel good. I am a muscle mommy. I start to see rainbows and butterflies all again. So a little secret, a little tip. So we are starting off with some seated row. We're using this weird looking grip here. It's a close grip, but I don't know <laughs> what it's called. I got 90 pounds on the machine and we're just gonna fuck shit up. Six feet. Seven. Squeeze and hold, nice and easy. Here we go. Ugh. Yeah, I'm drinking my H Cuts Amino Charge Energy Drink, no stim. Did I mention it's All Max? The watermelon flavor is delicious. And I also have my All Max creatine in here. I know a lot of girls that are scared of taking creatine. I take creatine. Your fucking grandma should be taking creatine. Buy your grandma that shit. Literally everyone should be taking creatine. Creatine's so good for you. It does not make you bloat. Contrary to what you may hear, I take my creatine once a day. All Max does make the best creatine. Use code Jaden15 for 15% 15 off. <sighs> Four. Five. 
Six. Seven. Eight. I couldn't bring that one fully in, but we made it count. Accidental mog there. <laughs> I switched the camera angle here so that you guys can see my juicy back pump just after two sets of this. My hands are super slippery. I think it's from all the cocoa butter that I got on my body right now. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. One. Four. Five. Six. Eight. Oh. 90 feels challenging today, but I also think it's the grip that I'm using and my cocoa butter hands. They're just a little slippery today, but we're feeling good. Mm. Hot girls lift heavy shit. Here we go. One, two, three, four, come on. Five, six, fuck. I thought I was gonna do eight. I think I could, but I wasn't in it, you know? Like, I just wasn't, I wasn't in it that set. We're gonna try that again, but I'm really gonna push it this time. One, two, three, four, fuck, five, six, all right, six, six it is. I'm gonna drop the weight. All right, we got a couple, 22.5. Fuck me, man. It's only been a short while since I've been like lifting heavier with my shoulders. I think it was like two months ago. I was literally lifting like 15 and like that was heavy for me. Proud of myself. I want to be super strong. You see these girls doing it? Like all these like Instagram girls like posting their workouts and stuff. And like they make it look easy and whatever. It's not easy. <laughs> okay, it actually is hard. It's hard work, but the results are so worth it. And like from a mental health standpoint, setting goals and like accomplishing them or getting closer to them, it's just so good for our well being. And like that's why I love fitness and weightlifting and just lifting heavy shit, you know? So we are now at the rear delt fly. Seven. Eight. Nine or eight. Oh, five. Six. Squeeze your back together. Squeeze your lats together.
was dead shit. Let's do one more exercise and call it a day. The nature is calling my name. However, the muscle gods are calling my name more. Okay. check to finish off the workout. Back first. Woo. I wish I could see <laughs> what we're working with right now, but I can feel it, guys. Today's pump, I feel good. And we can't forget about the shoulders. Mm. Mm. Juicy. I guess it's safe to say that I'm in my muscle mommy era. Look at that. Ooh. Who is she? I want to learn how to do this one. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm just pushing my titties together, but I'm trying to like flex my like shoulders and my chest. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see it. I see it. Definitely not showing as much ab as I would like because I am bulking, but we're gonna give a little ab flex just so that I can look back on this um, and see my progress. Look at that. All right, there's something there. Definitely got a little something, something cooking in there. Trying to stay lean and bulk in all the right areas. That just means you gotta eat right and keep it tight. I am not doing a dirty bulk. I am eating healthy food. Yes, I treat myself sometimes. You guys know with my Dave's hot chicken, but <laughs> at the end of the day, I eat a lot of veggies, good healthy carbs. Chicken's been like my go-to right now for my bulk. And a little booty, booty mug here. Look at that shit. Mm. We're caked up and it ain't even leg day. Yeah. 